Kohala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Bashim, Akakwadash, Double Honesty, Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and truth. Okay, so this is a, a video. Um, it's entitled, um, I'm just going to say, uh, the video is going to be titled The Curses. Alright, so I'm going to give you a few examples from a few uh, news clips. Okay, and I'm going to go into the scriptures. And uh, basically, the curses uh, have taken Israel, but. You know, and judgment is going out of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, our people don't consider our people. <laughs> what do we need to do? We need to stop talking about it. Let's do it. But you don't realize that the you're not greater than the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father had purposed his cause in the earth and he, he put it in paper. All right. It's written in paper. And like the scriptures say, before, uh, the, the, the former things have passed before new things come. I show you of them. See, our power is a power of prophecy. So when these things take place, that you know it's through him that these actions await. So let's just get into it without further ado real quick. Show you three uh, clips real quick. A deadly evening in one North Baltimore neighborhood shortly after 5 p.m. City police were called to the 2700 block of West Cold Spring Lane. They found a man shot there. The 27-year-old was rushed to Sinai Hospital, but he died soon after arriving. Homicide detectives are now on the scene searching for clues and... They're asking for the public's help in finding the killer. Mm, that's at Cold Spring and Park Heights. All right, well, that's a, a no notorious area where you jig be, and it's a lot of uh, poor over there. All right, here's another one. Let's take a look at this one. This happened recently over the Joe weekend. appeared to have a gun and allegedly tried to rob a group of people at East 23rd Street and Guilford Avenue Saturday night. But two of those people, a city school police officer and a retired Department of Corrections officer, had their own weapon. The department says they shot at Jones and he later died. Something's not right. It seems like there's details that's missing. Monday, his family gathered in front of City Hall. They believe police are withholding information. They ain't never mentioned it was the police, the former police, or nothing. We heard through a rumor from Facebook and put it together. Shooting. My son was running. They didn't have to shoot him. BPD released the police report that said Jones told officers that they shot me as I tried to rob them. The department says that exchange was reportedly captured on body camera video. The report also said Jones was shot in the upper left chest. City police is a separate entity from Baltimore School Police. The union head, Clyde Boatwright, said his officer took appropriate action to yeah, protect uh, himself. All officers are, are not losing sight of that. Uh, the fact that there was a young man who lost his life in this tragic incident. Um, sadly, uh, you know, he decided to arm himself and, and decided to prey on uh, citizens that were in just, just enjoying a, a beautiful Saturday night in Baltimore. As police continue to investigate, the family continues to ask for answers. I want the truth. That's all. If he did something he wasn't supposed to do, then I can accept that. I just want to know. Now that Baltimore school police officers now on routine administrative leave. Live tonight at police headquarters, Average Way Burnett for WJZ. This is the next video. Quick video real quick. Baltimore police investigate two early morning shootings, including a drive-by that injured two women at Rutland Avenue and East Lafayette Street. A 40-year-old man was also shot on Belair Road in Chesterfield Avenue. The victims are all expected to be okay, and anyone with information should call police. So, as you can see, these are two of, uh, I mean, um, a multiple clips that I show you of incidents that have taken place in the city of Baltimore. And, um... Ultimately, it's the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shah going out. See, people don't understand judgment. All right, people don't understand judgment, and this, this is what the scriptures say about judgment. This is a uh, Proverbs twenty-eight and five. It says, "Evil men understand not judgment." Now, the word for understand is uh, bayan in the, in the Hebrew. Now, when you go into the word uh, bayan, okay, that means uh, to stir, uh, to discern, understand, consider, to perceive, discern. discern. To understand, know with the mind. Okay, but see, the men of the Lord, we understand what's going on clearly because we have these scriptures to let us know uh, the certain things that are that are taking place. Okay, in particular, in this city where you know brothers dwell, certain brothers dwell. There's a, a, a altar, okay, or a small sanctuary of brothers in in the city, okay, that praise Yahweh Shimei Shah. 
all right, and and do the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and declare the mysteries of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So as men that declare the mysteries, we let our people know what's going on in the city. Now I have a scripture that I want to bring out. Okay, so this is our uh, Psalms. This is the book of Psalm sixty-eight. Okay, because you had a, a a dude that was uh, killed in um, in uh, attempted robbery. Okay. He basically attempted to rob somebody. Now the scriptures, if he knew that he was an Israelite, he would know that the scriptures say, "Thou shall not steal." Okay, and what happened is he he basically, you know, it's it's uh, everything is alleged. Okay, because there's an invest ongoing investigation by the the, uh, the Edomites. Okay, which when you have them, when you have them investigating a certain scenario, there's always things that's up for question, questions. And that's what the family member said. I just want to know the truth, basically. And everybody's all upset, you know, but because they understand not the judgment of the Heavenly Father. It was uh, uh, that dude's judgment, okay, for him to grow up in, in, at that particular time, for him to do what he did and, and come into uh, judgment. All right, that's the way the Heavenly Father works, okay? Now, judgment is going out uh, because, because of um, past transgressions, okay? Uh, and, and, and basically that's just what it is And, and ultimately the ultimate judgment That's going to come is these thermonuclear Thermonuclear missiles But let's go to uh, Psalm 68 and 20 It says he that is our power Is the power of salvation And unto our power And we know his name to be Yahweh See that's in all caps All capital letters we know that To be Yahweh The Lord belongeth the issues from death Okay, so unto him belong if the issues from death. Okay. Now let's go um to another scripture. This is uh Jeremiah eight and seven. It says, Yea, the stork in, in the heaven knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the Lord. Yeah, part of the judgment of the Lord if if you killing uh, if you out here killing people, you know, at the end of the day the Lord is going to bring forth judgment upon you. Okay? He could even bring judgment on your children. All right? So, that's what's taking place. Okay, the judgment of the Lord, okay? Verse 8 it says, "How do ye know we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain may he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain." All right, and basically, our people take the words of the Lord for for uh, a, a light thing. Okay, the judgment, the commandments, they take that for a light thing. Okay, verse nine it says, "The wise men are ashamed; they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they are, have rejected the word of the Lord, and what wisdom is in them? So they come up with all. They, they've rejected the words of the Lord, and then they come up with all types of." Uh, Vain solutions and, and all types of ideas to go to uh, Esau for judgment and all of that. But that's part of them rejecting the word of the Lord. That's why they refuse to hear the words of the Lord at the mouth of the Lord's servants, the prophets. All right. And I'm, I'm going to show in this video that because they rejected the words of Moses, the curses have come upon them. Okay. Now, Moses was the one of the first kings of Israel all right, He was a prophet Okay And he went before a king of a great nation Alright And that was the characteristics Of, of um, what well, that was the actions Or, or the, the what Moses did Alright Jeremiah 8 and 10 it says Therefore will I give their wives unto others And their fields to them that shall inherit them For everyone from the least Even unto the greatest is given to covetousness from the prophet even to the priest everyone dealeth falsely and that's the history all right the the lord had this thing come to pass okay where our wives were given to others our fields our lands were given to others and basically we have nothing when we're, we're in the captivity okay of our enemies and they look upon our shame all right they look upon our shame and then you have w jz reports or reports from multiple news because this is it this I get the news feeds from multiple cities and 
these things are taking place there's murders of our people okay there's our people killing each other okay robbing each other and doing all types of wickedness to one another all right and then you have the same activists that come out they have no clue what's going on you know they come up with all types of solutions all right but there's no solutions that 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 you're actually going to obtain in America and Babylon the Great because this place is going to be destroyed <laughs> it's going down it's collapsing <laughs> and you don't see it the Lord have blinded you, all right? That's pursuant to the words of the Lord. The the, uh, the prophets, the seers, he have blinded, all right? This is uh, Daniel 9 and 5. It says, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments, okay? So since we departed from thy precepts and thy judgments, which is these scriptures, okay? You you have sinned, all right? You have committed iniquity. All right, which is uh, which is sin upon sin. You've done wickedly. Uh, you've rebelled against the Lord. You've rebelled against the mouth of the Lord. He told you to do something and you did another thing. All right. So this is what's happening to, unto you. Verse 6, it says, Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in the name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto us. Shalaki unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as as it as as at this day to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, to all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of faces, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers. Because we have sinned against thee. All right? And that's why we go through what we're going through. Okay. As a nation of people. That's why these curses are cleaving unto us. And it says it down here. It's verse 9. It says. To the Lord our power belongeth mercies and forgiveness. Though we have rebelled against him. And that's how the Lord is going to show himself. Okay. To be our power through his mercy. All right. And forgiving us for our iniquities. So even though we're in this state. The Lord unto the Lord belongeth mercies and forgiveness. That's why the Lord is going to bring us from this low condition, all right, being low, being the lowest of the low, okay, to to a um to 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 being exalted in the earth. Let's go down here to uh this is the prayer of Isaiah, okay. Verse fourteen. I'm gonna start at eight. It says um this is eight verse fourteen. I'm I'm read eight to uh fourteen. It said real quick, and then I'm gonna go back to Daniel's. Uh, it says um, 8 It says uh, Wherefore all that thou has brought upon us And everything that thou has done to us Thou has done in true judgment So everything that's happening to us as a people The Lord have done in true judgment Alright According to the mouth of the prophet Azariah Alright And um, he was tempted Okay At a particular time So he would know the Lord was dealing The Lord is dealing with him all right, what, what the Lord is doing unto us is true judgment. All right, all these murders that are taking place, okay, it's true judgment. It's the true judgment of the Lord. Verse 9, it says, And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies. And who is the enemy? Esau, Edom. Okay, they're lawless enemies. Most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. Now, he was talking about the king of Babylon at that time. But guess what? Who takes the place of the king of Babylon in these times? Esau, Edom. Verse 10. And now we cannot open our mouths. We are become a shame and reproach to thy servants. And to them that worship thee. Yet deliver us not up wholly for thy name's sake. Neither disannul thy covenant. Now here it is. This guy, uh, this prophet, this spiritual man. Is asking the Lord to not disannul thy covenant. Okay. And what is that covenant? The covenant that the Lord made. Right here with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Verse 12, it says, And cause not thy mercy to depart from us, for we thy beloved Abraham's sake, for thy servant Isaac's sake, and for thy holy Israel's sake, to whom thou hast spoken and promised that thou wouldest multiply their seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand that lieth upon the shore. Okay. It says, verse 14, it says, For we, O Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins all right now what is sin sin is transgression of the law 
Okay, when you look up, I think it's First John, uh, the third chapter. It talks about what sin is. Sin is a transgression of the law. Now, when you transgress them laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, you being an Israelite, and continue and do it over and over again, the Lord opens you up to judgment. Okay, at a particular time, and that's what's happening. Jake is being Jake is getting uh, judgment. Judgment is being poured upon our people, man, in the inner cities. And guess what? It's not just going to be the poor. It's going to be all throughout the four corners of the earth during the time of Jacob's trouble. So you people think this is just isolated to the cities, the the, the inner cities, and the, and the places where our people are, all right? Um, where where you have high concentrations of poverty? No, it's going to affect the whole nation. Okay, in the coming days, going back to uh, Psalm sixty-eight and uh, twenty, it says, "He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto Yahweh." The Lord belong the issues from death. Now, right now, some of these issues from death, people are being killed with uh, using um, the gun. Okay, but pretty soon people are gonna be <laughs> destroyed with the missile. Okay, in concentration camps. All right, remember, remember th to the Lord belong if the issues of issues from death. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go back to uh, uh, Daniel's nine, but I just uh, thought of a scripture. Let's go to. Um, um, let me see. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, real quick, thirty-two and thirty-nine, real quick. Cause guess what? The Lord is bringing forth judgment in the earth, and people don't. And it's come. We're coming to find out that the majority of people don't understand it. They don't understand what's going on. All right, but we understand it through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and and in in due diligence. Okay. And studying and we watching Alright And we know that the judgment Is going to uh, come At a greater level Alright in, in the coming days This is nothing compared to what's going to come This is Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 39 It says See now that I even I am he And there is no God with me I kill and make alive See there is no God Okay with Yahweh Alright The Lord killeth and he maketh for life He give the angels charge all right, whether it be on the right hand or this left hand side, the Lord controls both sides. Uh, the Lord bring bringeth peace and he creative evil. The eye of the Lord do all these things. That's Isaiah 45 and 7. Okay. See now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and, and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay, so this is the power. That's the power of Israel. And guess what? He's not going to disannul his covenant. Okay? Even though we have sinned against the Lord and we become less of all the nations, he's not going to disannul his covenant. Okay? He's going to be mercy. He's going to have mercy. He's going to have mercy. Mercy. He's going to be merciful and he's going to forgive the nation of Israel. See, all Israel is going to be saved. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But the majority of you are going to be judged with death, okay? You're going to be a sacrifice in those nuclear nuclear missiles, okay? And that's part of the Lord bringing back, okay, uh, Israel, okay, to Yahweh Shah, all right? The marriage, okay, and, and the covenant being fulfilled. Verse 10, Daniel's 9 and 10, it says, Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord, our power, to walk in his laws, which he Set before us by his servants the prophets Yeah the Lord The Lord set before By the servants uh, The prophets The laws Okay The commandments Alright the things that we should do To receive salvation Okay but the majority of our people They have not obeyed the voice of the Lord Alright they walked after their own imaginations To do what they wanted to do And then they wonder why They are getting jacked up They wonder why You know they are getting poor and poor Okay, they wonder why these things are taking place Because they refuse to hear the words of the Lord It's Daniel's 9 and 11 It says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law Even by departing That they might not obey thy voice Therefore the curse is poured upon us And the oath that is written In the law of Moses The servant of Yahweh Because we have sinned against him And he hath confirmed his words Which he spake against us And against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem so you got the worst of the worst okay 
You got the worst of the worst. This is a perpetual thing. And the Lord have brought you low. But guess what? This is only a moment in eternity <laughs> that the Lord have done this. But he, he surely confirmed his words. All right, going back to the book of Deuteronomy, uh, the 28th chapter. Let's go get it real quick. Matter of fact, where was I in Deuteronomy? Deuteronomy 28 Now we read Deuteronomy 28 and 15 Which says It says But it shall come to pass If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Thy power to observe And to do all his commandments and his statutes Which I command thee this day That all these curses shall come upon thee And overtake thee Alright and basically what happened in the book of Daniels this, these things have the Lord have confirmed them, okay, and He have confirmed His words, which He spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. So we got all of that. We got all of Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. We got the cargo slave ships, okay. We got cursed. Uh, we were cursed in the city. And we're cursed in the field. And that's what happened. You see the curses going out in the city. Jake robbing each other. Okay. Cursed in cursed be thy basket and thy store. Cursed be the fruit of thy body. And the fruit of thy land. Alright, the fruit of thy body, the, the children. Okay. They're cursed. You, you see the picture of that young Jake when he was young, they showing pictures, but guess what? He ain't around no more. Alright. He ain't around no more. All right, he went and tested his nuts, and he came up short. Okay, he didn't think that it, that that would be his last day. That that's part of a, a curse. I'm talking about that Jake uh, that that was uh, shot in the back, allegedly shot in the back while robbing somebody. We don't know the story, but guess what? He ain't around no more. This is Joel 14 and one. It says, "Man that is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower." And that's what you see in them young pitches, you know. So much uh, 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 hope for the future, okay? But guess what? He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. Hey, he get he got caught up fleeing, okay? Shot in the back fleeing, all right? You know? And, and guess what? I I don't. You know what? If it was one of those Edomites that, that you know, methadone on heroin and, and they had a gun and they tried to rob Jake. You think you think if he, he you know, you think the police would have thought uh, twice about shooting him? You know what I'm saying? He would have probably hesitated fleeing, you know. But hey, guess what? I, the, the curses are upon our people, man. All right, I don't want to ramble too much. I'm going to stick to these scriptures, man. Show you in these scriptures. It says, uh, Curse shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Yeah. And this dude was shot in the back. Okay. All right. And that's just, I'm just using it as an example. And there was another uh, 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 episode that took place up in um, uh, Park Heights over there by Cold Spring. 27 year old uh, Jake that got. That got killed Alright And I'm assuming These are Jake's Okay These are Jake's man Alright You know Based on the way That they report On these things And and I'm a starch advocate To say that They should start um, Showing bodies man You know Showing Showing the judgment Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Cause this Is the judgment Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And people Should start fearing man You know You get a 19 second clip And next thing you know On to the next one it says, Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. So you wonder why I feel like you can't, you know, you can't come up, okay? And coming up off of somebody else only goes but so far. 
because you don't run into ju the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, especially when it comes to your brother. It says, The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from, from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. And in the history of our people, we have histories of pestilence coming through and killing our people, okay? Destroying our people. It says, The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword. All right. The Lord is, is consuming us with the sword. All right. You have a handgun. Okay. Uh, uh, violence. Okay. A lot of killing. Uh, a lot of killings are done with the modern day sword, which is the handgun. Okay. It says uh, with blasting and with mildew. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish. Okay. And thy heaven that is over thee. Uh, is over thy head. Shall be brass. And the earth that is under thee. Shall be iron. The Lord shall make the rain of the land. Powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down. Upon thee until thou be destroyed. So when we had a land. When we had the land of Israel. The Lord brought these curses upon us. Okay, he brought these curses upon us. Our land wasn't fertile. Okay, pestilence came into our land. You know, disease. Okay, our children, they were put to death in front of us. Okay, this is nothing new. The scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, it just happens. Let's go into uh, Baruch. Yeah, this is uh, Baruch. Let me start at 4 This is Baruch 3 and 4 It says O Lord Almighty Thy power of Israel Hear now the prayers Of the dead Israelites And of their children Which have sinned before thee And not hearken unto the voice Of their power For the which caused These plagues cleave unto us Remember not the iniquity Of our forefathers But think upon thy power And thy name now At this time Yeah And our people should be In the streets praying to the power of Israel His name is Yahweh And his son's name is Yahweh Shah Okay because the Lord Have brought these plagues upon us Alright we're the people That's why these things <laughs> Cleave unto us That's why you have no answers you, you activists in the city In particular you activists In the city of Baltimore Okay Which a lot of you are sellouts You're paid off By Esau Edom To basically keep our people in check Alright but the Lord is lifted The Lord is slowly but surely Lifting these curses off of us and all of that, those payoffs that our people have taken, okay, they're going to come to naught. And they're not going to be of any value in the day when the Lord brings forth mass death on the society. Okay, like I said, in the time of Jacob's trouble, all right, which when Esau goes to establish his full totalitarian society, all right, that's when you're going to know that he's the devil, okay. Verse 5, it says, remember not the iniquity of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord, our power in thee, O Lord, will we praise. All right. And his name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shah. Ultimately, his name is going to be glorified and praised by you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Verse 7, it says, And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. All right. We're in captivity now. All right. It says, for we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. And where we are uh, scattered, we're scattered in north, north, central, mainly the bulk of us are in north, south, and central America. Okay, but the great deliverance is going to take place in North America. Okay, Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, and the Lord is going to deliver his elect throughout the four corners of the earth because we have been scattered throughout all of these nations. Okay, and we look like all the other nations that have uh, taken us into to subjection. All right, but the Lord is going to uh, deliver us. Okay, so it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for reproach. All right, we're burdened. Okay, we're reproach, we're brought low, and a curse. Okay, and the curses they, they cleave unto us. And to be subject to payments. All right, a lot of us are in debt. Okay, a lot of us are subject to uh, uh, payments. 
Okay, we don't have uh, the riches of the society. Okay, we don't have the we don't control industry. We're subject to these industries that Esau has created and these other nations have over. And that was a part of the curses. It says the nations that are next to thee shall get above thee. In Deuteronomy, uh, let me read it real quick. See if I can find it. Deuteronomy. This is a good, basically a good chapter to read because it's so much, it's so much in it. Um, well, I'm just gonna roughly paraphrase it. Talk about the nations that it, that are that are beside you shall get above thee. All right. And one is, one of them says, um, ye shall be the. Uh, he shall be they, they shall be the head And ye shall be the tail Okay so that's That's a part of the curses Basically man So We're, we're, we're subject to payments Okay to these other nations Verse 9 it says Hear Israel the commandments of, of life Give ear to understand wisdom How happen if Israel That thou art in thy enemy's land Thou art, art Waxing old in a strange country uh, that thou art defiled with the dead. All right. What is this? Uh, let's go to the next one real quick. Yeah, basically, uh, Baruch uh, one, the precept in Baruch one, reiterates um what's in Daniel's ninth chapter, and uh. You know, basically saying we 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 are in this captivity. While we are in this captivity, we um transgress the law, the Lord's laws. Okay, so basically, our people understand uh, not the judgment. Okay, not not judgment. All right, Th those judgments are going out in the earth. Okay, and they're going out with the uh, gun. And what Esau is going to use is the fact that the Lord's judgment of people being killed by the gun. Is a justification to take away the guns, okay? Which that's ultimately going to bring forth the time of Jacob's trouble when they go to disarm the population, so they could gain complete control. All right, so that's why Esau Edom always uses uh, the nation of Israel, okay? We're, we're being used uh, by Esau Edom mainly Amalek, the so-called Jew, to pass different legislation. All right. To, um, um, to bring our people so low that when they do go to administer the chip, Esau can the, the chip, which is the microchip, all right, which is this new system, all right, our people will be willing because they're gonna promise all types of reforms and all types of uh, all types of um goodies and benefits, all right, because you've been so uh, destitute, uh, thrown down, and it's gonna feel like uh you 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 made it or Esau is changing, he's gonna help you out. Okay, and and you basically gonna be trapped up. All right, so I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you brothers that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Watch what's coming. We almost about to here, man. All right, shalom. <laughs>